There's never been a better time to break into cybersecurity than this very moment. As a cybersecurity professional myself, I'm a little jealous of this roadmap that you're about to receive. If I had the access to this roadmap and all of this value when I was starting out and for free, it would have saved me a ton of time and money, but this is why I'm here to help anyone looking to get started. We are in a full blown tech boom and a bunch of companies are pushing to make their products the best. With that comes an increase in vulnerabilities and potential risks of being hacked, leading to millions of users data being exposed. No sensible company wants to be at the forefront of a breaking news story. Therefore, having a strong cybersecurity team with sound technical skills has become the top priority for most companies. The good news for you is that no matter where you are and where your experience is, I want to guide you through how Try Hack Me can reinforce your cybersecurity skills no matter where you are in your journey. This is how you'll meet the astoundingly high demand for cybersecurity skills. Now, the biggest hurdle with getting started is getting started. I want to make it super easy and concise for you to begin. Try Hack Me is an online platform where anyone can learn and practice cybersecurity. I want to start by having you visit the Careers Hub. You can begin by taking a quiz to learn more about career options. Okay, so we're going to start off by taking the cybersecurity quiz and see what we're compatible with. So let's go ahead and start the quiz. It takes three minutes to complete. I really like building and maintaining secure systems. My biggest strength would be planning and strategizing. My favorite work environment would be working independently on tasks. I like to keep my head down and keep it pushing. I see challenges as opportunities to refine my skills. And hmm, what I think is the most important is technical proficiency and understanding tech hacking tools. If I could have any gadget in a spy movie, it would be rent a brain, duh. Which of these scenarios would engage my brain the most? Um, I think finding holes in a team's defense. I like to argue. <laughs> How do you feel about working collaboratively in a team? I can do it. However, I would say I do like to work on my own, but you know, we'll, we'll say independent work and collaboration. And then what I consider the most rewarding part of a cybersecurity career, say the satisfaction of uncovering critical vulnerabilities, and how would I approach learning and staying updated in the field? Reading blogs. Mm -hmm. And let's see, oh, I'm a red teamer. Red teamers share similarities to penetration testers with a more targeted job role. Penetration testers look to uncover many vulnerabilities across systems to keep cyber defense in good standing. This job requires imitating cyber criminals. That's exciting. And they are often best suited to organizations with mature security programs already in place. I want to highlight two paths in particular. If you scroll down, you can see these two here. So first we have our security analyst. Try Hack Me is here to prove that you don't need any advanced degrees to get started and you can learn valuable skills. They one, want to help you get started from scratch and two, master your skills without needing expensive certifications. Three, prove to you that you don't have to do it alone. As a security analyst, you'll be valuable to a company by identifying and investigating threats before escalating them to another tier in the security operations center or management. You can expect to make roughly $50,000 to $100,000 starting off. Then we have our pen tester role. In this role, my opinion is more aggressive and exciting. You are offensively breaking into organizations infrastructure by performing malicious actions in effort to gain access to sensitive data. You'll want to do this ethically, of course, and your efforts will allow you to strengthen your organization's weaknesses. Then you'll work together on further actions that will fix the security weaknesses. You can expect to make roughly anywhere from $65,000 to $110,000 as an entry-level analyst. Now that you know a little more about what these two paths entail, I'm sure you're still feeling a little lost. Here's how you should start. Take the pre-security learning path, perfect for those who have very little to no knowledge of cybersecurity. And if you spent enough time doing your own research because this field really interests you, but you still need a little more help, visit the Cybersecurity 101 path to obtain more core skills. 
We should also take a special look at the Hacktivities. This will be a complete roadmap for all of Try Hackney's offerings to you as your skills become more advanced. Let's dive deeper into some of these courses. Okay, so now let's take a look at the learning roadmap and see what options we have available to us. So like I was telling you, we do have the security analyst role where you have two pads, you have an easy one and a hard one. And then you have your penetration tester pads, and these are going to be truly foundational to your cybersecurity experience, especially if you want to build technical skills. I'm going to take a quick look at the pre-security course if you are a total beginner, because you're likely watching this if you need the help. So let's go ahead and open this up and we can see exactly what we're going to learn. So what is offensive security? What is networking? What are local area networks? What's the OSI model? I'm three years in the industry and I can maybe tell you five. Actually, no, I think I can say all of them. You have um, the physical uh, network layer, application, data. Looks like I need to take this course too. <laughs> you learn Linux fundamentals and when windows fundamentals as well so this is great take it from me overall try hack me is here to build your confidence of technical skills i gave you two pathways as an example however i don't want you to be confined to those the best way to learn is by actually hacking and defending real world scenarios and try hack me has a beginner friendly set of challenges that guide you step by step let's check some out so next, we're going to try a challenge. Um, look at all these fancy schmancy hackers in these leaderboards worldwide. We have Brazil, Australia. I don't know what country that is. Um, you have some United States. You have Israel. We got Italy. Um, I'm going to set a timer and see how long it'll take me to find my first flag. So I want to start by, let's do a challenge. We're going to pick the, the easiest one. We need easy, easy, easy. Okay. We're going to click on join room and we're going to start. Here we go. All right. Join the mission to protect the digital world of superheroes. All right. Superhero Academy. We're starting our VM. We got a free hour. It expires in two hours. Ooh. Okay, our machine has finally loaded. So we are going to, oops, get started. Oh, my computer just crashed. three minutes in oh, that's okay it doesn't look like the universe wants me to be a hacker tonight but whenever you find the answer make sure to leave the flag in the comment with just under 400 challenges of different difficulty types, you get to test the skills that you learn in your pathways. For easy challenges, some of my favorite are gonna be Crack the Hash, and for all of you Rick and Morty fans, you can capture the flag with the Pickle Rick to turn Pickle Rick back into a human. When you're ready for something more advanced, try the Mr. Robot Capture the Flag Challenge, and overall, you can always come back to a challenge if you don't complete it. Progress through your enrolled courses and then visit a challenge for a rewarding experience. The best part is that TryHackMe is offering you all of these amazing training resources without you having to commit to a high price certification or degree. Then once you've got the basics down, I want you to keep an eye out for TryHackMe's new Sal1 certification. This is designed for entry-level security analysts. In the meantime, continue to build your skills through the SOC simulator. And if you want real world SOC experience, the SOC simulator lets you practice like you're in an actual security operations center. I don't know about you, but all of this valuable information and experience would look stellar on your resume and on LinkedIn. This is how you'll position yourself to meet the high demand that we're seeing nowadays 
for skills. In your free time, check out some of these stories from folks who have landed jobs using Try Hack Me. If you're still feeling unsure, check out how Chrissy transitioned from being a nurse right into cybersecurity, or maybe how Hayden put in extra hours as a student to become a SOC analyst. Lastly, I do want to say breaking into cybersecurity can feel daunting, especially when you don't know where to begin and you're unsure of the options available to you. We're at the end of the video now, and I hope you feel more confident to get started with Try Hack Me. Considering that this is free to you and there's an abundance of resources to get started with. If you have any further questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Tell us how you feel what you're excited to do in this industry and what other content we can bring to you. Thanks for watching.